Hey there friends, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this goal tracker right here. So this is just something that I whipped together in Notion and I have all of my goals listed out here, as you can see, and then I have the actions that are required to get there and they're all listed in order of due date. So as you can see, January 5th is my first goal and then we also have them organized by uh, goal. So we have close 150K in sales for the agency and it's only going to show us the tasks that are related to that. If I wanted to hide that and maybe hide this one as well and just focus on reduce anxiety and increase self-control, you'll see that I have a goal to meditate pretty much every day for 10 minutes. As I check these off, they disappear and then I can just simply create a new goal by hitting new, typing in my goal here. So let's just say, uh, download Headspace app. Let's say that's my goal and the due date is going to be January 1st so I can start the year off right. I can go over to goal and I can relate it to reduce anxiety, increase self-control and then boom now we have this under this uh, category here and let's say we do that we can check it off. So the point of this is to be able to see our outcomes over here as a uh, motivation and then we can drill down into our actions on a daily basis and make sure that we are keeping track of these and that they're on schedule. So let's just start with a blank page and I'm going to show you guys how to build this from start to finish. I'm just gonna start out with a blank page and we are going to name it uh, 2022 initiatives. In this page, I'm gonna add two other pages. And in order to create those pages, all you have to do is hit slash, then start typing the word page, hit enter, and that's going to create our first page. And we're just gonna call this goals. I'm gonna add an icon in here. The trophy would be a fitting icon. So we're gonna go with that. And I'm going to turn this into a table. So up here, it says 2022 initiatives, as you can see. So you're just gonna click on that and right here, you'll see that goals page that we just created. Now you're also gonna wanna hit slash page right underneath it and enter. And this is going to be actions, okay? And I'm just gonna go with the green check mark for this page. I'm gonna go back to 2022 initiatives. And now we can go ahead and start creating these pages. The actions page should actually make sure it's a table as well. Now let's start filling this out. So if I go over to the goals page, I'm gonna wanna make this first column goal. I recommend sticking to anywhere from two to five goals for a year uh, in various areas of your life so that you can have a well-rounded year unless you need to focus on something very specific that year and you wanna make a big push in one area. A lot of times people try to make goals in like eight, to 10 different areas in their life and then they get frustrated when they don't actually achieve those goals. Oftentimes when you set like one or two, three, five max, uh, that's when you have the best years because all of your focus is directed at one thing. It's not spread out everywhere. So that's what I would personally recommend. So some categories that you can add for these goals. Let's just create a category, select, category. Some categories that you can create these goals within are like health, spirituality, finance, personal, family. There's tons of different categories that you can fit these goals into, but just add all of your categories here that you're going to need and you can uh, add those in as you enter your goals. All right, so now let's just enter some goals in here. So let's say one of my goals is to get to 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. So get to 15K subscribers on YouTube. By the way, we just hit 5,000 subscribers and that was our goal for the year. So I'm proud to say that we hit that goal. Um, you know, barely fit it in, but nonetheless, we got to 5K before the end of 2021. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, let's get to at least 15K or higher. Um, by the end of 2022. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. So that's our first goal, get 15K subscribers on YouTube. And you'll notice that this goal isn't something that's obtainable without 
actually taking multiple actions to get there. Like we're gonna need to upload a ton of videos to get to that point. Um, and we're gonna need to do it well. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna add this category to, uh, let's just say personal, because the YouTube's kind of a personal project of mine. It's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't categorize it into finance, even though we do make some revenue from YouTube. Uh, it's more of like a passion project. So get to 15K subscribers on YouTube, first goal. My next goal is going to be reduce anxiety and increase self-control. That's a good goal, I think, and it's quite broad, and I did that intentionally, okay? Um, I'm just gonna make this probably personal as well. I guess it could be spirituality or health. Health might actually be a good one for that. Um, the reason that I made this broad is because a goal should be kind of like a broad idea. It shouldn't necessarily be um, like the actions. We'll talk about the actions in a minute. And I know that's non-conventional thinking when it comes to goals, but I prefer having like an overview of something that I can look at, kind of a North Star that I can look at. And then on the day today, I get granular and I start thinking about the details of it. What am I going to do today to reduce anxiety, increase self-control? Well, I'm gonna meditate for 10 minutes. And as I do that on a daily basis, I start to trend towards my goal. It's okay to also have goals like the 15,000 subscriber goal, um, but the truth is once you get to a certain number, it's not going to bring you a whole lot more uh, fulfillment. So that's why I try to have a mix of these, right? I try to have a mix of these quantifiable goals that I'm going to reach and there is an endpoint. And then I also wanna have goals that don't have an endpoint that I just wanna to trend towards. My next goal is to close 150K in sales for the agency. We came in just under 100K this year. So that is another goal of mine. I wanna close above 150K in sales for the agency. That's gonna require a lot more outreach and uh, you know just improved sales skills. So uh, that's a big goal of mine. I'm gonna add business in here. So now that we have these goals set out, I'm going to add a little icon on all of these. Uh, let's just add these little trophy icons in here. And then let's also add a checkbox. This will just be completion status. Okay, so if it's checked off, that means we hit our goal. And then I will add a date. So this will be the due date for our goal. And all of these are going to be set to the 31st, but for 2022. Now that we have this set up, I wanna head back over to my 2022 initiatives page, and we're gonna go into the actions section. So we've already defined the outcomes that we're hoping for. Now it's time to talk a little bit more about the actions it's going to take to get there. So if I open up actions here, I'm just gonna name this tasks, and these are going to be our day-to-day -day tasks that need to happen in order to reach these goals. So this might take some time to fill this out. Uh, I'm just going to put a few arbitrary tasks in here um, just because there are so many tasks that are going to be related to these goals that I have that I probably can't add them all in one video live right here. So let's go over to 2022 initiatives, actions, and our tasks here are set up, but I'm gonna actually turn this property into a relation. And we're gonna hit select a database, and I'm just gonna type in goals. Okay, and we wanna click on our goals database, create relation, and now I'm going to name this goal. Okay, so it's gonna show us our related goal that's related to this specific task. So if I write like task well, I'll, I'll come up with something. Uh, write or send 2100 cold emails. Like that might be a task for this right here. Okay, so that's how I would set that up. And then I would also make sure that this is a check mark. Then we can add a checkbox. And then we can do task status. So once it's complete, it'll be checked off like that. You could also break this down into smaller bits because right now 2100 is like a really big goal. But if I wanted to, I could just do it like 10 cold emails and I could just add a bunch of these and have them uh, be added like every week so that I'm making sure that I'm staying on track with this. And it's not just something that's like 2100 for the whole year. No, I'm gonna send 10 per day or something like that. So you could just duplicate these if you wanted to have multiple 
and then you could add different due dates in here. So let's just hit date, due date for that specific task. And let's say like, this is gonna be for January 3rd. This one will be for January 4, January 5, January 6th, so that I can see on a daily basis how many I need to send in order to reach this goal by the end of the year. And there might be other tasks associated with this. For instance, we might have to create a new uh, keynote presentation for our sales calls. Create new sales presentation, right? I get it open, make that a nice task. And then we could have a date that that needs to be done by and then make sure we connect it to the proper goal. All right, now bear with me. I'm going to uh, just type in some extra tasks here so that we have tasks for each goal. All right, so now I have my first week worth of actions added to the actions database so that I can start taking the right steps to reach those goals. So I'm gonna go back to my 2022 initiatives page and here I'm going to start visualizing these things. So in order to do that, I can create an outcomes column, outcomes and actions column. And I'm just gonna drag actions to the side of outcomes here so that we've got two columns. So column one here, column two here. And let's just make this an H1 and we'll make this one an H1 as well. Now I can put the corresponding table right underneath it by hitting slash and typing create linked database. So for outcomes, we're gonna add our goals database right here. So I'm gonna type in goals, click on that. And now you'll see that it adds that goals table that we created on this page right here. So I'm gonna hit add view and we're going to hit gallery and then create. So this is going to show us all of our goals. And if we want a nice picture in there, we can click into there and then just in this empty space down here, type in slash image and click that and then go to unsplash or you can upload your own image. I'm just gonna go to unsplash. In this one, we're gonna put YouTube, there we go. In this one here, we're going to put, so we're closing some deals. Here we'll put slash image meditation. So now we have our outcomes that we're hoping for on the left side. I'm gonna squeeze those down a little bit because they are important, but they're not going to need to be as readily available as our actions over here. These need a little bit more space to breathe because this is where we're gonna be spending most of our time uh, editing and moving around. The outcomes are mainly here just to keep our eye on the prize, right? So under actions, we're gonna hit slash create linked database. We're gonna go to actions. And now we'll see all of our actions in here, but this is a little bit scrambled. We're gonna wanna organize this so that it shows up a little bit nicer. Okay, so what we're gonna do first and foremost is just, just hit add a view, list, and create. Okay, so now this is a nice list and I can click on these three dots, go over to properties, and I wanna choose to show the task status and the due date is good as well. We wanna see the due date in here. Um, if you want, you can go full width so that it's a little bit easier to see everything and we can make this even smaller. Then we'll have our actions on the right side. Uh, we can move these pages down too if we want to like that so that they're at the bottom. Then we just see our 2022 initiatives, outcomes and actions. So over here, let's do some sorting, okay? So first click on these three dots and then sort, add a sort, and we're gonna go to due date and you can make it uh, ascending here so that it shows you whatever has the most recent due date. This is how you can prioritize things because if the due date is nearing, like this one for, for this film one new video, that's on January 3rd. So that's the closest due date that we have. Another way that you can organize this is by clicking on these dots here and then going over to group and you can group by goal, and then that's going to organize these into uh, specific goal folders here. So you can hide these. I'm actually gonna hide this top one because it just says no goal. So that'll be for the tasks that don't have a goal, but we don't need that. 
Now this is super organized and if we want to focus on a particular goal, we can do so. Now let's say we want these to disappear when I check them off because currently they just stay here as I'm checking them off. Let's say like every time we hit that check mark, we want it to just disappear out of here. Well, what we can do is click on these three dots here and we want to filter, add a filter, add a filter where task status is incomplete. Okay, so now if I click that, it's gonna make it disappear. And if I wanted to, I could uh, just duplicate this list and then uh, this first list that we created, we're just gonna call it tasks. And this new list that we created, we're just gonna call archive. And this will show, if we go up here, go to filter, task is complete. So then if we go to our archive, it will only show us the ones that are complete because that's what we selected in the filter. Task status is complete. And then if we go over to our tasks, if you remember right, we went over here and we filtered task status is not complete. So that's kind of how you can set this up and get a general idea of what your tasks are on a daily basis. All right, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up your outcomes and actions that you need to take to reach those outcomes. And if you have any questions that are notion related or goal related, or you want to share your goals below or something, just leave a comment, uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. All right, we'll see you in the next one.